Hey Poppy Pam, welcome back to our video tutorials. Today I'm actually, as you can see, playing in some bold fall fun colors. So today I wanted to do a look with, I've actually had this like in my head since like the start of summer, and I couldn't really find a lot of inspiration for it um, being done on the internet, even in conventional beauty. But I really wanted like this like rich olive gold eye look with a fun pop of berry. I did go through some other more like neutral lip options and I also did go through um, kind of how to make this look a little bit more neutral. But I wanted to play in some of like the fun like hues of fall. One of my favorite colors for the eye look when you're wanting a little bit of color on your eye is actually an olive tone. And the reason being is that olive is still that very like neutral, it's like, it, olive is kind of like brown eyeshadows, like more fun cousin that goes to like farmer's markets and has like fall wine nights out. So um, you're gonna wanna wear this when you're like having a little bit of fun with your makeup. You wanna step out of your brown and your neutrals. Um, I feel like this is a look that kind of gets you there and it's, but it's still like when you're looking at it, I mean, again, you don't have to apply this berry lip. You can do a neutral. Like when you're looking at the colors, you're not like, oh my gosh, she's got like bright colored eyeshadow, which I'm a fan of color. I think color is super fun. Um, but I still think that this is a more like wearable everyday, like you could wear this to like the office or um, you could wear this to a business meeting. You can wear this with your girlfriends having wine. Um, or if you're like me, you can call your mom up and be like, hey mom, do you wanna go for margarita flights and chips and salsa tonight for dinner? And this is a look that's not going to be out of place. Hey you guys, enjoy this tutorial um, and learn a thing or two. Um, as always, you can always come visit me in store if you're local. Otherwise, we are gonna be filming more fun fall makeup looks and skincare looks soon to come. Um, so if you have a recommendation on a beauty trend that you wanna see done, let me know in the comments below. I love to film based on your suggestions. Um, so I will see you guys in our next video, but stay tuned for all of the fall fun eye makeup look ahead. Okay, so let's get started on the eyes first. I've actually already applied my face makeup and I didn't film it just because I feel like I have been using the same routine for the last couple videos. It's my favorite fall and winter foundation routine. So I've been using the Sappho Essential Foundation for Blemit. It is a great foundation for dry winter skin. It's an aloe based cooling foundation. It's light coverage, um, but I just feel like it sits really well on my skin in the drier months. And then I did use the Kosas Revealer Concealer, which I did not grab. Um, and then I topped it with the Cloud Powder from Kosas. I did put as a base the Ether Illumination Oil and added a few drops in with the Sappho foundation and I did just for quick convenience because I just randomly decided to film this morning I did everything with a sponge so um, that's where we are I also have a little bit of the Ritual Defee um, creamy contour um, color right around my face as well as their blush in desire which is one of my favorite cool tone blush shades that just kind of looks super neutral and then I applied a little bit of the Ether Diamond Highlighter. So that's just like a quick um, update on what I have going on before we start the eye look. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush. And today we're gonna go be going back and forth between the Ether Mini Quad Palettes. Now she's actually sold out of I think this one on her website because everything that she does is limited edition. Um, but we do still have stock in this and we always sell our stock until it's gone um, because her shadows are so gorgeous and she's never gonna make colors like these again. So, um, and the perfect thing is about these minis is they're only $24. So it's a great way if you just want to add a little bit of eyeshadow to your collection and maybe you're just starting your clean eyeshadow routine. Um, these are great, more affordable options to start out with. So we're gonna be dipping into both of these today. I'm gonna start with the matte shade. Um, this one is called Connection from the Ether. This is the Amitrine Mini Quad. And I wanna add this like matte pink to the eye just so that um, 
it will blend in with some of the lip colors that I've selected and it's gonna add just like a little bit of this like more um, grounding neutral hue before we apply some of those greens and golds. So I'm just taking this on a fluffy brush and I am sweeping this right along the crease and then once I have that pigment up, I'm kind of uh, lifting and pushing it further up on the eyelid. So I'm really accentuating my crease area so that it gives me more shape and definition of my eye. It really will also open the eye shape up um, for the other colors that we're going to lay down. So now that I have that shadow down, now we're gonna go in. <laughs> that was so scary and now my eyeshadow is like dipped in. But we're gonna pretend that that didn't happen. We're gonna take a sip of coffee. We're gonna go right back at it. Okay, so I'm gonna be going in with this darker olive tone. This one's called Cosmic Awareness. And I'm gonna pick it up on my same fluffy brush. And I'm gonna press the shadow right into the outer and the inner portion of my eye. Actually, I'm gonna grab a different brush that's a little easier. I'm gonna grab a angled brush. Once I dropped the palette, my uh, sense of where I was going with this look just like completely left. But the reason why you wanna grab a brush like this is so that you can easily flip it inner to pack on that eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna flip it to the outer as well. So I'm going to leave this center completely blank. We're not gonna apply any eyeshadow right there because I don't. We're creating kind of like this really pretty like smoky olive muted rose halo eye. Um, so we're not gonna put any shadow on the center because it's going to give us the illusion of a bigger, um, just kind of more wide open eye. I love once you start kind of blending the shade up, you can see the gold just start to like, um, the gold that's in this green eyeshadow just kind of start to come alive. Um, it's a really gorgeous green with those gold hints and I just think that it looks so pretty on. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and ever so slightly just start kind of blending these shadows just so again we don't have really any harsh lines and you can't really see where they stop and where they start. Even though we have like nothing in the center, it'll just, the more work you do with your blending, the less you have to do and worry about later. I grab a smaller little angled dome brush and I'm going to take that cosmic awareness color and thumb it right on the lower lash line just to give my eyes a little bit of contrast on that lower lash line. Now that I have that completed and we've got this really pretty like smoky olive tone going on to the eyes, I'm going to grab a, cl a clean angled brush and I've actually taken a drop of the Ether Beauty Illumination Oil and this is how we're going to get this eyeshadow to kind of act as a cream because um, I really want that like bold gold contrast. So we're gonna be going in with the shade Topaz, which is one of my favorite colors. It's like this gorgeous, like greeny gold, like very mesmerizing color. Um, and we're gonna start popping it right here on the center of the eyelid. Like, as you can see, this color is so stunning. And the more we apply, like the prettier this look gets. Taking another drop of the ether oil and I'm sticking it right on the back of my hand. What I like to do is take my fingertips and I'm going to grab some of this gold shadow. This is the color Solar Energy. And because this shadow has quite a bit of like more gold sparkle to it, I'm going to start pressing it right on top and then I'm going to trail this gold right along my brow bone. This is going to give the illusion of like I talk about this a lot in my videos, a glossy eyelid that's not necessarily glossy um, because those looks are not very like wearable for every day. 
Um, so this just kind of gives the illusion, especially like when you're in the sunlight or in the natural light, like when you're turning your head, it's kind of giving you that like oil like sheen, if that makes sense, um, that a glossy lid would have, of course, without like any glossy look. See, I'm not a fan of like even trying the glossy look out and I don't know if that's like bad of me. It's just, I don't want to put a lot of work into an eye to have it like mesh together. Like that just doesn't sound fun. <laughs> like this is so gorgeous. I love this look. I actually just love fall. Anybody else just be like, fall is my favorite season. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a liner brush and I'm grabbing a little bit of this, I'm thumbing it back and forth between the gold and the topaz and I'm going to apply just a little bit on this lower lash line right here. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of liquid liner. I think you could definitely do a pencil liner with this look and make it more like smoky and sultry. Um, but today I'm feeling a little bit of a wing, plus I'm gonna put on a little bit of a lash that goes out. So I do think that um, kind of doing this more like kitten wing liner will complement that a little bit more. I'm trying not to talk when I do liquid liner because it is so scary. And it's like the one thing that I feel that you have to have complete concentration for. Sometimes it actually gives me like anxiety to film with liquid liner because I get anxiety putting it on in front of the camera, which is weird because it's just a camera, but still. But don't let the fear of failure stop you. And I like to do like baby wings because I don't like something like huge on my own eyes. And because I'm doing more of a kitten liner, I'm stopping the line right where that gold kind of starts to hit. Next, I'm grabbing the Talk Beauty Mascara. Um, I'm gonna try to hold this up so that you can see the wand. So this one has a silicone brush wand. It's actually a new mascara to our shop. I've actually been wearing this mascara. I've actually tested out two tubes of this before we even brought it on our shelves. And I will say it is a really nice formula. Here's some things I love about it. I love that it doesn't go all over your face. I can actually do my top and lower lash line and have basically absolutely no transfer, I guess, unless I was crying, um, to my makeup. And I work all day here at the store and I, I feel like it's just amazing. Um, I, prior to this, was using the Sappho mascara, which I do still absolutely love. It is a great mascara. Here's the thing though, sometimes in the winter, I don't know if you guys have ever had this issue, and if you live in a southern state, you've absolutely never had this issue, but sometimes um, with natural mascaras, they like, when it gets so cold and literally it's like negative temperatures, my mascara freezes and then like unthaws on my face. Um, if I've been outside for a little bit too long. So when I was talking to the founder, she lives in Canada and I talked to her about this issue and she said, honestly, she has never experienced this since creating Talk Mascara. It's not cold enough to test out the theory yet, but saying that I have absolutely little to no transfer already, I can see that this is possibly gonna hold up longer than some of the other natural mascaras that I was using. Um, so, and again, that is only, it only happens like every once in a while and to have a clean mascara on my lashes and a mascara that doesn't irritate my eyes, having it unball over my face is totally worth it. Um, just because again, like I want to use products that are not irritating to me on a daily basis. So I'm going to go in with a couple coats. The nice thing about this brush wand, silicone brush wands, um, they coat every single lash consistently versus your natural brush wand. So you can really get to each and every lash. So this is a comfortable one coat of the Talk Mascara. So I'm gonna do a second coat just to get them really voluminous and big. 
sometimes I can even do a third coat and like if I'm really paying attention to my lashes and get them like very pretty and bold. So as you can see, I'm waiting for some of the mascara flex to dry from um, filming, but as you can see, it just looks like very fun and bold. So I'm gonna actually grab some of my lashes because I'm filming, I always like to put a little lash on to like celebrate the fact that I um, went all out on my makeup. So this is the finished eye look. Now we're going to apply some lips and you have options when you do this fun gold and green eye. So I'm gonna swatch a couple colors that I think are gonna go well and then I'm gonna apply my favorite of the options. So one of my favorite options is this really gorgeous, this is like my favorite all time lip color that I have been using a lot lately which is the Ritual Defeat Oracle um, lipstick. What the really nice thing about these ones is these are matte lipsticks, so they're not going to be like a lip stain where they're lasting absolutely all day and kind of drying your lips out. They're a little bit more, they remind me a lot of like a MAC lipstick, like a clean swap for a MAC lipstick because it's not going to be uncomfortable to wear, um, but it's going to last if you're drinking coffee or tea. Um, you're still going to have this. I use this for a lot of actually um, my bridal clients recently. Um, I've been loving this with different glosses over the top to kind of manipulate the color. Um, another really good option for this eye, because again, we kind of have those pinky undertones to this eye, is the Ritual Defeat. This is in the shade Carnal. Um, this is going to be a little bit more mauve, a little bit more neutral of some of the options, um, just to kind of give you like a little bit of a fall lip color. Another option, and it's kind of in the same color family, is the Kosas lipsticks. These ones are a little bit more buttery. This one's going to be a little bit more pink. It's called Undone. It's again one of my favorite shades to wear, um, and again, I feel like this one would give you like a little bit more on the pinky side of tones, which would definitely go with this look. The last one is the one I'm actually going to put on because I actually wore this when I was um, testing out this eye look and I adored it. It's a little bit more bold and fun. This is actually Kosas in the shade Dark Room. As you can see, I wear this a lot for fall, um, so it's a shade that I use often. Um, it is a gorgeous fuchsia berry color. What's really pretty about this shade is that it will naturally stain your lips a little bit. So like as you're eating and drinking throughout the day, I feel like it still will kind of um, fade to like this really pretty fuchsia. And it's not a bold color that you have to babysit for a lipstick. Um, it's a really fun play on colors and I feel like it's a gorgeous fall like bold lip color. So we're going to put this on just to finish off the look. So I'm gonna take my little pins out just so we can like prep ourselves for the full, full look. All right guys, so this is the finished look. We have a super fun green eye and a very fun like wine berry lip. Um, I definitely feel like this embodies the colors of fall and I feel like you could wear this to a wedding, you could wear this on a girls night out, and again, you could keep the lip neutral so that it's not so much um, bold. You don't have to apply lashes. You can add a um, couple coats of mascara and a little bit of a pencil liner and make this look way more neutral. But since I was filming and I was getting out all this equipment, I was like, we are gonna go steps and steps up. And that's the fun thing about makeup is that it's to each their own and um, the textures and the colors that you decide to wear is going to make it uniquely you. Um, I hope that you guys had fun watching some of these tips and tricks, and we will see you guys in our next video.